Okay, dear children, now we'll be moving towards to the end of the chapter. That is national movements during Second World War. See, in the previous chapter, I had already explained to you that after the election, Congress formed uh, in seven provinces out of 11. 11 provinces, my South Satara provinces. Coalition government were formed in two provinces. It was only two provinces. Bengal and Punjab had non-Congress ministries. I had already explained to you. Now, see, in this chapter, we will be learning about the national movements. That special took. Because I told you, see, in our previous class, I told you that the Congress ministries, they resigned in the year 1939 just because the Governor General, uh, Vice, sorry, the Viceroy dragged India into Second World War. Banana. Okay. Now, on the basis of the Government of Act 1935, elections were held. You know very well. The Congress formed the ministries in seven provinces out of 11 provinces. Out of 11 provinces, Congress formed the government in seven provinces. In two provinces, coalition ministers were been formed by Congress and it was in two provinces, that is in Bengal and Punjab, non-Congress ministries were been formed. As the Viceroy did not consult the central legislature or a provincial government for involving India into the Second World War, the Congress ministers resigned in November 1939. Now, at this, Muslim League became jubilant. See, of clear visibility, Muslim League Congress completely resigned. Okay. At this state, Muslim League became jubilant. Jinnah heaved a sigh of relief and declared Muslim League to observe a day of deliverance on 22nd December 1939. Okay. Finally, now, everything was in the hand of the Muslim League. Congress later resigned. So, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who was the leader of uh, Muslim League, he took a great sigh of relief when Congress Minister resigned. Okay? And he decided, or let's say the Muslim decided to observe a day of deliverance on 22nd December. Day of deliverance in, on 22nd December. 1939. Now, day of deliverance, it was Muslim League who decided to observe. The resignation of the Congress ministers were perhaps a serious tactical blunder. Say, this was a great mistake. Try to understand. Congress, they resigned. On what basis? On what ground they resigned? They resigned stating that the Viceroy did not consult them and they dragged India or involved India during the Second World War. So we will resign. But this was a great mistake made by the Congress. Try to understand. Thus, throughout the war period, Congress was out of power. Because Congress was now, they were not at all in power because they are the one to resign. And that was a great tactical mistake. This was a great tactical mistake made by the Congress ministries. Naturally, the British government took full advantage of the situation. Abo, try to understand. Now, Congress was not there in the power. A power ma bata. They could specially hold British government to take the advantage of the situation. Ab kuita sahi na No man is there. Congress the out of power bhai gayo. Then obviously in this in this uh, atmosphere, British government will take the advantage, and they did it. British government took full advantage of the situation. In the round table conference, it was taken for granted that the main communities, particularly the Hindus and the Muslims, would represent in the provincial ministries. But after the spectacle of Viceroy Congress did not accommodate any other group like the Muslim League in any ministry, this became an important issue in the United Provinces when Congress assumed office. Say. Another meeting was been taken place in London that is called round table conference. Okay. But that conference was taken for granted. Okay, it was been said that the main community, especially Hindus and Muslims. I mean, in them, I mean, they do it at the community, Hindus and Muslims. So they said that these main two communities, especially Hindus and Muslims, will represent in the provincial ministries. Provincial ministries, Hindu and Muslim, they represent God. But after looking the condition, okay, looking the condition of Viceroy, Congress did not accommodate. Congress did not accommodate. Congress did not Took inside any other group either of Muslim League in ministry. Congress le Muslim League ko kune members aru alena. Now this also became an, a great issue in United Provinces. 
when united provinces in united provinces when congress was going to take off the office congress offered two seats to muslim league say i am talking about in united provinces try to try to understand congress offered two seats to muslim league that is also on certain conditions Muslim League completely rejected. Outrightly, Talma Muslim League leaders said, Garia, we don't want your offer, but the Congress like. The Muslim community felt that they had no political future so long as the Congress was in power. This was a fear in the mind of the Muslim League. See, try to understand. This was the fear in the mind of the Muslim League that if, if the Congress will come into power, Congress power ma boss ne then the political future of Muslim community will be no longer. Muslim League ko political future hudaina if the Congress will be in power. Is it clear? Now, see, from your, um, your statement, lay, it is very much clear. From this time only, the Muslim League won in the favor of separate country called Pakistan. Or else, see, in Congress, there were many Muslim leaders who had really uh, took up the high post in Congress. The Muslim leaders, too, Muslims community uh, members were there in the Congress. But yeah, the Muslim community, they felt that they don't have any political future as long as the Congress will be in power. The Muslim League then accused Congress of discriminating against the minorities. Uh, Muslim, le, Muslim League, le, ke what were the allegations given by the Muslim League? The Muslim League clearly stated that the Congress is making differences against the minorities. Muslim, we are minority in India. So we have been highly discriminated by the Congress. This was a allegations given by the Muslim League. Thereafter, Muslim League appointed a committee to collect information on the subject. Okay. They themselves appointed what committee so they can collect the information on that basis. Whether the uh, Congress is discriminating minorities or not. The report contained a long list of charges against Congress. Abu Muslim legal report bonayo. See the political game, LA politics mancha. Muslim League made a report just to find it out whether the Congress is discriminating the minorities in the nation or not. Now, when the Muslim League is making the report, do you think so that the Muslim League will write the report in the favor of the Congress? No, not at all. Is that clear? They collected the information. The report was been finally submitted. In that report, it contained a long list of charges on Congress. Okay. It was completely against Congress. Thus, throughout the 27 months of Congress rule in provinces, Muslim League carried on intense anti-Congress propaganda. So, we, sorry, 27. Congress Ministry Mabosio, throughout the 27 months, Congress ruled in provinces for 27 months. For whole 27 months, Muslim League carried anti-Congress propaganda. Congress like Basel Khanu Diena, Muslim League lay. Every time a protest a opposed was being made by Muslim League towards to the Congress. Other Muslim organizers also published similar reports. Muslim League lay the Gaudiya Gaudiya. Muslim League lay the Congress ko against my propaganda banayo. But even there was other Muslim organization in India which also published, they even published the similar reports, the same type of reports that was been published by Muslim League. Then the Muslim League started a program of consistent propaganda of uh, Congress atrocities on the Muslims in the Congress rural provinces. Thereafter, Muslim League started a pro pro program protesting against the atrocities of Congress. That means Congress is been uh, Congress are discriminating the Muslims in the Congress rule provinces. In most of the Congress rule provinces, the Muslims are not given any rights. The Muslims are <coughs> not being looked after in the Congress rule provinces. Manera programs are Rusurugan Thalia Muslim League. To give some tactical support to the propaganda, Muslim League formed the Pirpur Commission headed by the Nawab of Pirpur. Your propaganda like Support the Nuklagi to give a strong support to this propaganda. Muslim League lay out a commission from Gorio. Muslim League formed one commission which is known as Pirpur, P I R P U R, Pirpur Commission. And the head of this commission was the Nama, Nawab of Pirpur. The report seemed to have presented a false report, 
about Congress communalism and its sites on the Muslim people. See, they submitted the report. The report was been presented, but it was very much clear that they submitted a false report. False report stating stating that the Congress are not looking the Muslims properly in the Congress rule provinces. The report was been false about the Congress communalism. That means Congress are discriminating between the Hindus and Muslims. A supplementary of the paper report, the Sharif report, also came out with the charge of Congress atrocities on the Muslims. About just to support the paper report, Arco report many banana Muslim league which is known as the Sharif report. S H A R I F F. Sharif report. Even in this Sharif report, also there was a lot, large, large number of charges against the Congress on the Muslims. Bengal Premier Fazal Haq also issued a pamphlet entitled. Muslim suffering under Congress. Bengal Premier. Premier, once again, the Prime Minister. Premier, man, Prime Minister. Bengal Prime Minister Faisal Hawk, which I've already explained to you in the previous classes, that the Faisal Hawk, Faisal Hawk was the person who invited Congress to form a coalition government in Bengal, but Congress refused. Congress rejected. So Faisal Hawk went and got the support of the Muslim League and they formed the coalition government in Bengal. Gay Prime Minister Lee, Faisal Hawk, he also issued one pamphlet. Pamphlet, my kid, like sir. Muslims suffering under Congress. Muslims are getting a lot of suffering under Congress. Muslims are being dominated by the Congress in the Congress ruled provinces. Pamphlet. The charges of the league included failure to prevent communal rights, ban and bakr eat cow, cow slaughter. Encouragement of singing of Bande Mataram on public occasions, encouraging of Hindi at the cost of Urdu and discrimination towards the Muslims. Let's see, what were the charges made by the League against the Congress? They said that Congress failed to stop communal rights. Communal rights, it was a war between the two communities. Hindu or Muslim, communal rights. Is that clear? They said that the Muslim League clearly stated that the Congress failed to stop the communal rights, a war or a hostility between the Hindus and Muslims. Ban on Bakr Eid, cow slaughter. They had completely banned the Bakr Eid, cow slaughter. Cow slaughter, Maniko, Gaile Manu. Encouragement of singing of Bande Mataram, Bande Sa. Muslim League, like a allegation, Laude Sa. Here, the Muslim League is giving an allegation stating that the Congress are asking the people to sing Bande Mataram on public occasions. Junepani public ko program ma, Congress le Bande Mataram gaun along de sare. Encouraging of Hindi at the cost of Urdu. Another allegations ke lai, yanira Congress lai. Congress are encouraging the use of the Hindi language instead of Urdu. And the final allegations, discrimination towards the Congress. Sorry, discrimination towards the Muslims. Muslims have been highly discriminated in the Congress rule provinces. These were the charges which was been included by the Muslim League. The Congress leadership denied the charge of the Muslim League with regard to injustice made to Muslims and the minorities. Then the Congress leaders, they clearly denied they clearly stated that we are not doing injustice to any Muslims or to any other minorities. This report submitted by the Muslim League is 100% a false report. So this was the statement given by the Congress leadership. Okay, Congress leadership clearly stated that, that we are not doing any injustice to the Muslims. We are not discriminating any other minorities. This allegation inflamed the passions of the Muslim against Congress. Because of this allegation, because of this allegation which was given by the Muslim League, this really burned a fire between Muslims against Congress. Is it clear? Okay. Now, I'll be moving towards to the next paragraph. That is, Lahore session of the Muslim League 1940. Very important session, my dear children. Lahore session of the Muslim League in which year? 1940. 
for some for quite some time a section of muslim intelligentsia nor is the idea of separate independent muslim state in india see thereafter the intelligent the learned person of the muslims they started nourishing the idea of a separate independent muslim state in india india bitra eva separate independent state hunu parcha for the muslims banera yo idea lai chamkaunu thalyo nourished banu thalyo the well known urdu poet mohammad iqbal first conceived the idea of the separate muslim state please try to understand and please note it down mohammad iqbal first person to give the idea of separate muslim state an urdu poet an urdu poet named as mohammad iqbal he was the first person to give an idea of the separate muslim state he presided over the allahabad session of the muslim league in 1930 where he demanded for the creation of muslim state see he was the president of allahabad session of the muslim league muslim league ko allahabad session ma bakta in allahabad they had a meeting they had a conference in the year 1930 of muslim league this session was been presided over by mohammad iqbal it was in this session he clearly demanded for the creation of the muslim state namely north west muslim state here muslim state banun bacha tesko naam ke hunu parcha North West Muslim State. At this time, Pakistan money word niskek thena. Try to understand. Is it clear? Muhammad Iqbal he gave the idea of separate Muslim state. He presided over the Allahabad session of the Muslim League in 1930. He demanded that a separate state for Muslims should be created, and the state, the name of this state, should be North West. Muslim state. Okay, dear children, I'll be ending here. Okay, uh, we will continue in our next class. Thank you very much.